Hello, Dr. Bill here. I'm here today to talk to you about what you absolutely must know about the math on the new digital SAT before you go into the test. Again, you don't want to have to look at these things on test day because it would just be too time consuming. And of course, if you don't know this stuff, it shows a lack of familiarity. But again, I do want to talk about some of the differences and add some things you absolutely positively must know. So here the directions say that the questions in this section address a number of important math skills. Use of a calculator is permitted for all questions. So this is new for the digital SAT. We know that on the paper SAT, there's a uh, section of math that does not per, uh, permit calculator use and one that does. But here on the digital, you'll be able to use your calculator throughout. So they say, unless otherwise indicated, all variables and expressions represent real numbers. Figures provided are drawn to scale. And again, that's new. There are sometimes figures not drawn to scale on the paper test. All figures lie in a plane. And the domain of a given function f is the set of all real numbers x for which f of x is a real number. Okay, now let's look at this reference sheet. Again, I would say you need to know most of this cold. There's just a, an exception or two. But let's look here. So we have for a circle, you need to know that the area is pi r squared and the circumference is 2 pi r. For the... Um, area of a rectangle, it's length times width, obviously side squared for a, a square, right? The area of a triangle is one half base times the height. And then for a right triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is always the hypotenuse. Again, it doesn't matter whether you call the base a or b or the height A or B, but the hypotenuse must always be C. And here's where I want to add something. Oftentimes, you don't even need to do the Pythagorean theorem if you know the important Pythagorean triples that come up again and again on the test. And they are the 3, 4, 5. And then 3, 4, 5 times 2 is 6, 8, 10. That's a very important one. This comes up a lot. And again, if you recognize right away that it's a Pythagorean triple, it saves you the trouble of having to do the Pythagorean theorem. And then 3, 4, 5 times 3 is 9, 12, 15. And then two others that come up a lot, especially this one, is the 5, 12, 13. And again, I put an asterisk there because these two are probably the most common and then the 7, 24, 25, okay? Then we have the special right triangles. You need to know these cold, right? Because they come up all the time again, and it's going to save you a lot of trouble if you recognize immediately what is a 30, 60, 90, or an isosceles right triangle. For the 30, 60, 90, we remember that the proportions of the sides are always the same, side opposite the 30 degrees is side, we'll call it x. The hypotenuse is two times that, or two x, and the side opposite the 60 side times the square root of three. And then we have the 45, 45, 90, or isosceles right triangle, where uh, equal sides are opposite equal angles, right? And then the hypotenuse is side square root two, so we have side, side, side square root two. Okay, with respect to volume, Know that a cube is side cubed, right? And then you could say length times width times height as well. So here we have a rectangular solid with, you know, length times width times height that gives us volume. A cylinder is simply a circle with height. So here the volume is pi r squared times the height. And uh, we see here again the circle is pi r squared. So we're just multiplying that by the height to get the volume of the cylinder. Okay, these three shapes, the volume of a sphere, cone, and pyramid, come up only occasionally. When they do come up, they tend to give you the formula right in the problem. So I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, memorizing these formulas if you're not familiar with them. You can refer to them quickly again in the event that one of them does come up. Okay, the number of degrees of arc in a circle is 360. The number of radians of arc in a circle is 2 pi, so 2 pi.
pi radians would equal 360 degrees. That does come up. And pi radians is simply 180 degrees. Okay, the sum of the measures in degrees of the angles of a triangle is 180. So the obviously the interior angles add up to 180. Okay, all right. Now some new things, right, that we want to look at here for uh, the digital test, right? Okay, your answer can be up to five characters characters for a positive number and up to six characters, including the negative sign for a negative answer, but no more. That's new. On the paper-based SAT, you cannot enter in a grid a negative answer. But on the digital SAT, you can, right? So that is new. And you won't have a grid. You just enter these in a box. If your answer is a fraction that's too long, over five characters for positive or six characters for negative, just simply write the decimal equivalent, right? And again, you can use your calculator. If your answer is a decimal that's too long, over five characters for positive or six characters for negative, truncate it, cut it off, or round it at the fourth digit. And then super important, if your answer is a mixed number such as three and a half, you need to write it as an improper fraction, which is seven halves, or as a decimal, simply you know divide seven by two, and obviously you'd get uh, here 3.5. And then don't enter symbols such as a percent sign, comma, or dollar sign in your answer, right? Okay, here it says circled because, you know, in the book, but obviously it's the answer you choose uh, on the computer or that you enter, uh, obviously, on a uh, student-produced response. So this is basically it. Again, know these things cold before you go into the test because you don't want to be spending valuable time reading all of this on the day of the test when you only have 32 minutes in which to complete uh, 27 questions. There it is. This is Dr. Bill. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thanks for your attention and good luck.